What's up, y'all? Trey be dipping in the building. You know what time it is. So today, we got the lube, and we're gonna be basically rough draft uh, mounting the inner cooler and piping. So we're gonna mock it up, and then once we get it mocked up um, roughly, then obviously uh, Mike's gonna weld everything up. But yeah, stay tuned. Yes, sir. See, I got the inner cooler piping, you know what I'm saying? That wrinkled black though, you know what I'm saying? But anyway, I'm gonna put a link to the inner cooler kit that I'm using, just in case you guys are interested. Nothing fancy, but it's gonna get the job done for me. So, I got the front end off already, and I already kind of started roughly, I hung the inner cooler just to see, you know what I'm saying, roughly where it's gonna sit. And this will be my third build with the Prelude specifically. So I know there's a couple ways to do it. And I think the way I'm gonna do it this time is gonna be similar to the last time. But since I'm keeping AC and power steering, it makes it a little um, little more challenging. What I did was normally a, and it's in this bag over here actually, that's the uh, power steering cooler. I think it's one of those OEM parts that you don't really need, in my opinion. But normally it sits right here. It comes out through this hole and it pretty much sits right here. So deleted that and got that out the way. And then the lines that come through here is uh, those pieces. And basically I took my pipe cutter and I cut the pipe right here. And basically since I am keeping the power stand, I just deleted the the cooler and then I'm running it from here directly to that pipe so that frees up the front end quite a bit and yeah pretty much uh, I got all the hardware that I need to go ahead and start mounting this bad boy right here you know what I'm saying y'all already know I gotta go with the all black hide it you know what I'm saying subtle sleeper All right, so you guys see, I got it mocked up roughly. You know what I'm saying? Uh, I think, I mean, it's definitely solid. It's definitely not going nowhere. And I'm gonna put the bumper on, check the position. Should be straight, should be actually perfect based on how I saw it hanging. So I'm gonna just roughly test fit the bumper. <clears throat> and if everything lines up, then I'm gonna come through and cut these extra tabs off that I don't need. Cut them joints off. But yes, sir. Oof. Perfect. <laughs> So on my other prelude, I run the pipe through here, but um, obviously room needs to be made. So I have to actually cut this so that the piping can fit through there. So that's what I'm finna do.
All right, quite a bit looks different from the last clip. Um, some some time elapsed. <laughs> I had to order some different couplers and things like that. Um, I think between the last clip, um, I got this uh, 45 degree um, coupler. And I was also waiting on this 90 degree coupler that goes from a two and a half to a two. But you can see... I got the intercooler mounted up. Um, obviously, I don't have any clamps on it yet. I wanted to make sure everything was good to go. But yeah, for the most part, your boy is in there like swimwear. Had to relocate the horns. You see the horns are right there. But yeah, man, it's just it fits perfectly to the bumper. I had to mod the bumper. I had to cut some plastic off the bumper, but nothing too major. But just for the sake of showing you up close and personal, uh, I know you guys haven't, this is kind of like the first look at the turbo and I didn't want to show you guys in this video, but kind of have to, to show you how I'm routing the, um, intercooler, but this is a Garrett GT 3076, I believe. If I'm, if I said that wrong, I throw the correction up there. Um, it's rated for about 570 or something like that, somewhere around that range. Um, and this is the dual ball bearing with the water cooled, uh, setup. But um, you can see that I got the turbo clocked. I got the two with the coupler uh, adapter going to the two and a half. And that hole that you saw me cut, I am gonna come back and clean this up a little bit. Um, but that runs down, that's a 90 degree bend. And that 90 runs into a 90 degree coupler. Into the intercooler, out of the intercooler, that's another 90 degree, uh, 90 degree piece. And then you got, that goes into a 90 degree coupler that shoots up through where the battery, no, not the battery. Well, the battery does sit right here, but this is the factory air box. Um, took that out. That comes up through here. Now this piece I may change, but this, as of right now, this is a 45 degree, um, piping. And then that runs to the blow off valve. And then this was a straight and I cut it short and that runs to the uh, 45 degree coupler. And it pretty much lines up perfectly. Ugh. Anyway, so yeah, that's pretty much how it's gonna sit. Now I'm kind of contemplating on whether or not I'm gonna get well, obviously this side doesn't need to be welded at all. Um, but I'm constant and this side, you can't really weld for real, for real. Um, you, I, you might be able to, but to have this piece go from here all the way as one piece, I don't think is a good idea. So regardless, I wouldn't weld that anyway, but from here, that piece all the way up, I might have might weld that into one piece just to eliminate a few couplers, these two, may, uh, mostly, it's the main concern. But, yeah, man, this drum is looking, yeah. I'm getting excited, man. Oh, uh, I don't plan on doing a video about it, but obviously, like I said, this build has AC. Um, I was missing this line, uh, I was missing this line, and this line that runs to the firewall, I got that in there. And you can see, I think I'm gonna fab up some brackets for this instead of the zip ties. I'm, instead of the zip ties, I'm probably gonna run like some, some screws with loops and then run like a legit strap or something. I might, I'm gonna figure something out. But that's pretty much ran as clean as it can possibly be. Uh, this is where the bill starts to get interesting. <laughs> but yeah, that's pretty much it, man.